how are your aspirations changing as your experience grows? So I think naturally as you're running an organization, as you're, you're trying to lead other people, um, you're working in this frenetic environment that your the aspirations and your mindset and your your levels of awareness i think all of that is just constantly shifting i have to i i kind of just i feel like i'm constantly rolling rolling with the punches mm -hmm. with each new challenge that comes up and and because of that i think the the aspirations and and what i'm meant to be doing one day changes you know to the next day how do you stay on top of goals and measuring progress when things are changing so quickly in the end i can look back though i can look back every year and say oh, i can't believe i did that my first year right i mean that's such a, a great example and the reason i can say i can't believe that i did that my first year is because i don't do that anymore right. um, and so lessons learned is something that's not necessarily measured but it's something taken for granted if you're learning that much so quickly you're you're making a better product over and over as you do it uh, also, I don't, you know, you've got the, the revenue is very clear, you know, your revenues, your profits, that's obviously something you can look at, but also the connections, the people you've met, the, the way you've grown as a person and an organization from the, the, the people around you. I depend so heavily on collaborators different groups, whether small companies, big companies, personal relationships yeah. that help you grow and take you to a different level. Um, for example, I'll be doing a leadership training session at uh, British Petroleum. And I've actually started now bringing in people. It's not just this. I just did a State Department two weeks ago, and I brought in um, another organization. I brought in Whole Foods with me. I brought them in to see our training. We could have looked at each other as competitors in some way. It's, it's a very odd mm -hmm. relationships we have now. On one hand, they're one of my clients. On another hand, we collaborate very openly, even though we have some of the things we do in the same space because mm -hmm. they actually train in leadership as well. Mm -hmm. And they hire me in to train in leader, leadership. And I bring them in to come learn just on a with my other clients so it's these very unique relationships that i've started to establish yeah. with groups um through collaboration and starting to just see things in a different way I, I don't think i can't identify them they're 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 everything they're competitors they're collaborators they're clients and it just goes it's it's creating those unique relationships that i think has been really a big asset 